Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 2K12 in my player mode with Timmy Timmons and the 2 and 10 New York Mets. Yeah, we're not doing too hot at all. Our two wins have come uh, against the Marlins and the Rockies. So, I'm not happy about where we are. This is one of those times where I really am thinking about trading Timmy Timmons to another team, but that's all right. We'll hang through it. Slow starts. That stuff happens. I mean, heck, Timmy Timmons is having a slow start right now. He's just a little bit under uh, or a little bit over 150 batting average, so hopefully that'll get turned around pretty quick. But uh, hopefully you guys got a chance to be able to watch the opening ceremonies for the Olympics. I thought it was pretty cool. There's some stuff that went a little bit over my head, but that's just because I'm not from Great Britain, so... I'm not too familiar on the history. Yeah, I know a, a fair amount of it, but it's more on the military side because I'm a military history buff. Um, I don't know. I just like reading about wars and, and battles and stuff like that and the people who have fought them because, you know, I've always thought war can bring about the best and worst in humanity. And I think it's uh, appropriate to make sure that that's something that's studied and researched here, but... Um, anyway, kind of getting back on track here. I'm excited that it's in London because I've always wanted to travel to London um, or just England and, and Great Britain in general. Because my ancestry, I have a lot of ancestors from the British Isles. Uh, you know, I've got Ireland, I've got Scotland, you know, Welch, English blood in me. So I've always been interested with a lot of the history though, like William Wallace was always a big thing for me to study because uh, I have ancestors who fought with William Wallace, Robert the Bruce was in the family somehow. So it's kind of crazy, you go back and you see your ancestors were on both sides of stuff and you know I had some in England too, so I don't know, it's, it, it's kind of cool to go back and look at all of that but you know I have so much respect for the British. And, you know, again, going back to the whole history uh, thing, especially with the military side, one thing I've learned about military history is always trust a Brit to hold their ground. So, because, I mean, you, you think about all the stuff that, um, you know, the British had to endure through World War II, World War I. And it, it was tough, but they always hung in there, you know, even with some of the other stuff, like with Korea, you read some of the... The things about you know what some of the British uh, troops had to endure through even in Korea, but anyway, and and I don't know if it's necessarily too because of you know the common ancestry that America and the United Kingdom has, or the fact that we speak the same language, our culture really isn't that different. But I don't know. Like I've always been fascinated with Great Britain, and I I want to go there. I was actually looking at the prices right before this, and you know it was. A uh, little over a thousand dollars per person. Let's see here. But yeah, no, it's yeah. Anyway, I, I found it and I was kind of like, oh man, that'd be so cool to go, but I can't. I got a baby on the way. It's gonna be here at the beginning of February. And I hear the best time to go is is during spring. So, you know, just a few months after my baby's born, I don't want to be traveling out of the country necessarily. Besides, there's not too much I'd be able to do with a newborn baby like that. But one day, you guys, one day, I will go to, to uh, the UK and any of the British viewers out there, I'll make sure I let you guys know because that'd be kind of cool. But anyway, yeah, super excited for the Olympics too. This is something I just love watching. There's a lot of cool events. I am sad baseball wasn't included in it, but um, I can understand. And, and I was I was surprised because you'd think that in London there'd be a you know a, a big appeal for it since baseball is, is similar in some ways to cricket. You know, you'd think it would draw some people, but I can understand that it doesn't. That's all right. But I don't know. I like some of the, the big events you know basketball and uh, the swimming in the track but I kind of like some of the smaller ones too uh, which I'm gonna have to make sure that I, I DVR them 
make sure that uh, I give myself enough time to be able to watch it here. But yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be awesome to watch all of this. Uh, I'm gonna try and get into some new ones here. Like you guys know, I'm trying to get better with soccer, so I'll I'll be watching that quite a bit. But um, you know, I'm gonna make sure that I watch the big ones here. Like I was saying, fencing is kind of cool for uh, for me to watch as well. Something I've I always like badminton. That can get pretty crazy actually. But water polo, water polo can be a ton of fun, not just to play but to watch as well. So I'm gonna have to make sure I tune into that. But let me know what you guys are excited for with the Olympics here too, because if you guys come across a great event that you think I would enjoy, I like to hear about it. So that way I can get a chance to watch it here too, and maybe become a bigger fan of, of sports here, just going with some different different types of sports and support the United States wherever I can. But anyway, we come away with a 11 to one loss in this one here. Pretty embarrassing, but I do go two for four. Or I should say Timmy Timmons goes two for four. So this is the first multi-hit game I have had in a while. And I will take that. I even had a stolen base in the game, too, if you guys caught that. But anyway, thank you again so much for watching, you guys. And feel free to subscribe if you guys haven't already. You know you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. All that great jazz. But anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.